Hello, welcome back. Uh, I thought I'd just, after living with this thing for a week or two that I, and playing with it, I think I'd just uh, revisit it just quickly. Um, it's a couple of things that I changed after I'd been working with it and a couple of things I discovered. Um, first of all, it, it uh, with the batteries down at, what were they, 3.4-ish when I put them in there, it took on a one amp charger about 18 or 20 hours or so to charge, which, you know, whatever. It's uh, the the little protection boards would have been dropping into balance charge mode during that whole time. There was some question about the uh, effectiveness of the Kapton tape of holding the thing together. And yeah, I wasn't sure if it would hold either. I kind of didn't expect it to fully hold. And it didn't. The first time it got knocked off anything, it uh, kind of popped out. So I reopened it and added our old friend hot glue. Uh, so there's some on either side of the LED panel and its diffuser. There's some on either side of the uh, solar panel. And there's a few dots just surrounding the batteries just to hold the cells, just to hold them in place. So that's one thing. Um, another thing that several eagle-eyed people noticed was that I didn't actually solder it onto the B-plus pad. I soldered it onto the end of that diode. However, they are electrically connected. To be honest, I didn't know that at the time, and I didn't spot it because I was not working from up this close how you guys were watching. I was working from way back here. Actually, for my eyes, it's more like way back here. So I couldn't very well see what I was doing. And yeah, okay, I screwed up. But I got lucky. And it doesn't matter. So that's good. Another thing that I should have checked before, but I didn't, is how the solar panel is connected for charging. Um, so I've... It is, uh, the ground is directly connected to the battery ground, but between the solar panel and the battery positive, there's about a uh, quarter of a volt or so in one direction, using my diode check, and in the other direction, nothing. So there is, looks like there's a protection diode in there, but other than that, the, uh, the, ba the, voltage that this thing is presenting is going to be basically applied straight to the batteries. So the next thing I did was to take this thing outside into the sun, into full sun, mid-afternoon, um, and I got my assistant to check it out and make sure everything was okay. And after that was done, I just checked the voltage across the solar panel and it came out as 4.42 volts with the load on it and everything else. Um, then I threw my meter into uh, current mode and just shorted across, or bridged my meter across, essentially creating a short circuit through the meter shunt. Um, and the short circuit current that I measured was between 83 and 85 milliamps. So that's, that's the maximum that you're gonna expect to get from this thing. The batteries in this thing currently are sitting at four volts and so that 4.42 volts that we were getting out of the sun so it was actually pulling them up a little bit so that's and that's a reasonable charging voltage for these but that current is so stupidly low that obviously it'll take days to get a full charge on the solar so that's that's still just basically a gimmick one other thing i discovered about this is the little flashlight mode on the side here. It has different modes. These are the fairly standard modes that you find on uh, a lot of these power bank chips and a lot of the, the bike light chips actually too. So you've got a high brightness, a lower brightness, which I can't see through with my normal eyes, but you can see is obviously PWM'd. Third setting is just a straight up strobe light, which will get annoying real fast. 
And this last mode is just a slow flashing light. Not quite sure what the use of that is. Uh, some of these lights actually have an SOS mode, but this ain't it. And then long press off. So that's interesting. I didn't know it did that. And of course that dimmer mode is going to uh, double your battery life when you're using it as a flashlight or as a, as a light. And it is quite bright. I used this thing just as a general room light when I was doing some painting earlier this week. Um, and yeah, that worked pretty well. So my assessment of it hasn't changed all that much from the initial. The solar panel is almost useless. Um, the, as a, as a one amp power bank, it's going to go forever because of those batteries that I've got in there as a light. It's probably it's most useful function actually. Oh, there you go. Um, hope some of you were interested in that follow up. I'll talk to you soon with a new video.